We are entering day two now of the first ever criminal trial of a former U.S. president. And jury selection for the alleged hush money case against Donald Trump continues this morning. Uh, Kelly O'Connell joins us from our live center with more on uh, what we can expect from today. Good morning, Kelly. Yeah, good morning. Day two, former President Donald Trump facing criminal charges in this hush money case. He's facing 34 felonies, accusing him of falsifying documents to cover up an affair allegation during the 2016 presidential campaign. He says the case against him is politically motivated. He's accused of false fine business records to cover up a payment to adult film star Stormy Daniels before the election. 96 potential jurors entered the courtroom Monday, but not a single person was selected. Seating an impartial jury could take some time because the judge in the case is insisting that potential jurors will be questioned individually to weed out any political bias. I think particularly in light of the ongoing presidential election, it's going to be uh, really difficult to find jurors who come into this just with an open mind to the facts and the law. Twelve jurors plus six alternates are needed for the trial to even begin. This could be Trump's only criminal case to go to a jury before the November election. It is possible that he could face jail time if convicted, but that is unlikely. Now, once the jury is selected, which again, expected to take a while to even get to that point, the trial itself is expected to last six to eight weeks.